Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I'm filming this one in the kitchen. <laughs> I do hope everyone is well, but I'm, before I get into the main idea of this video, I want to say a huge welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. So it seems that my last video was really well received and we've had a crazy few days on the channel. The subs have just jumped up massively and yeah, I've got to say thank you for all those people joining and not to mention or forget all the long time uh, long term subscribers and the people that have been here right from the start you know i really do appreciate that and uh, you know your support and this is what this channel is about getting it out and hopefully i can continue to get content out and share it with you that you enjoy and get something out of right let's get to the main video So on to today's video and what I really wanted to do was to provide you with some updates into my uh, events or race calendar, whatever you want to call it. And there has been some changes since I posted my first race uh, calendar video a few months ago. I'll link it up there somewhere. But for ease, what I will do is I will stick it on the screen next to me. And here you can see the races or the planned races that I had for this year. So there have been a few changes and I'm going to go through each of those and give you a little update as to where we are at and what, what has been completed, what hasn't uh, been able to happen and some that are still in the balance. So it's, my season started off with the sprint trial over in Dorney and that went ahead as planned. Uh, it was bloody freezing on that day. If you've not seen that video, I'll link to it above. Uh, but yeah, all done, all completed, uh, went to plan on the, on the date that it was supposed to happen. That was supposed to then lead me into the Outlaw Half, which did happen, but was obviously pushed back a few a few weeks, four or five weeks or so, which actually helped me in the end because I had a little niggle going on. Uh, and then I was supposed to, from the Outlaw, go into the Windsor. I'd have been tired doing that. Uh, but, you know, that was supposed to be what was to happen next. But <coughs> that didn't it was cancelled um, which is a shame because you know Windsor is one of my favorite events and it's slightly disappointing but you know it's been it's been pushed back to again next year now so I don't know if I'll be able to actually do that because of that cancellation I wanted to have another hit out and I booked a new triathlon that I'd never done before and that was the Ardenly triathlon down in Sussex and again link above if you've not seen the video to that uh, but I quite enjoyed that, uh, but it just meant I got uh, another race in before the Outlaw. It was a bit of a longer gap, which I didn't really want. Uh, so, yeah, that was a new one that was that was done, and that, again, led me into the Outlaw, which, you know, you'd have seen that recent video. Uh, next up after the Outlaw was supposed to be Ironman Staffordshire. Now, Ironman Staffordshire has been, def well, it's been pushed back to July, I'm not doing it in July, I deferred it till 2022. It does mean I may not be able to do Windsor next year because they always seem to clash. So we'll have to see about that one. And because of this, I decided to use the voucher from Windsor that I had to actually uh, do, an, do another triathlon in, well it's next weekend actually, which is the banana triathlon over in Dorney Lake again. And uh, yeah, it, it was it was either run the risk of trying to defer Windsor and then it possibly clashing or taking the voucher and doing some other event, and we, that's basically what I did. So I will be heading over there next weekend to take take part in an Olympic distance. I think they call it the Jumbo or something like that, or a whole banana. I don't know what they call it. Some weird name. I have done that event twice before, and both times I've done it, it's been absolutely boiling. I think it's been 30 plus degrees. So. <laughs> Yeah, interesting trying to do, do a triathlon in those sorts of temperatures. Then comes on to my other additional event, which I'm not sure whether I'm going to do yet. I'm still umming and ahhing about it, um, but that's the Kent Triathlon down near Romney or... I don't know where it is, somewhere Romney, Camber, that, that what kind of way. It's again, it's an Olympic distance. The reason, my thinking behind it, is that if I can have a hit out there... Uh, it means I go into my summer holiday pretty pretty well raced. Uh, I'll probably have a, a six-week gap or so before my next 
planned race which is likely to be Ironman Vichy. Now, this is a little bit up in the air. Whether we get out there, I don't know. Uh, the good thing is the deferral option is there. The bad thing, uh, we'll probably lose out on our accommodation and all of that sort of money that we forked out uh, in Vichy. We do have a place in France, um, so we were hoping to get out there for the whole summer and then just travel over to Vichy to take part in that event. So I don't know if that's going to happen. We will see about that. That's a big question mark. And then that would lead me into the last race of the year, which is the Berlin Marathon. Mm, which, to be honest, I think is very unlikely that I'm going to get to. Uh, it's going to go ahead, I think. Uh, but Brits, Brits in Europe, just not happening. Uh, the Germans want you to, I think, uh, quarantine for two weeks. Just not possible. And it's a bit of a shame because it's my wife's uh, 40th as well, the same weekend we booked, you know, three or four days out in Berlin uh, to, to celebrate that. So things can change, I know that, and hopefully they do. But it would be nice to, you know, get out to Berlin and race that marathon. Uh, but we will have to see about that. It's just our fingers crossed and we hope. The gutting thing about it is there's no deferral option either. If I can't do it, I can't do it. I lose my fee as well. Uh, I'm not worried about the holiday. The holiday's all protected. Uh, so we're not, yeah, that's not a concern. But the German marathon, the Berlin marathon, I've been trying to get in for the last three or four years. And this was the time that I, I was successful. So it might be back to reapplying again, but I think I'm going to leave it until all this COVID business is... is Candle down. So there you are, guys. Those are my race uh, adaptions to the calendar and what I'm planning to do going forward. I'll keep you updated because who knows what will happen, particularly with what the events abroad. Uh, racing, you know, is slowly returning to normal, and I'm just pleased that we can actually race again. Uh, and you know, I can put up with the changes, you know, with the COVID restrictions and the longer transitions. You know, the outlaw at the weekend, they did, those guys did a terrific job putting that event on. So we know it can be done. Uh, but two of my races abroad this year are looking unlikely, which is a shame. Right, I'm going to leave the video there. Uh, and I should be back hopefully at the weekend with another one. I have got something planned. Hopefully I can get it filmed. If you're new here, do hit the sub button because like I always say, every bit helps and I do really appreciate it. I will see you soon. soon.